Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Paul. In today's video, I've had a couple of questions asking me how I run two fixed panels on my car, as well as a fold-out 300 watt solar panel, um, and it all runs through the same charger. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to explain how I do it. Um, I've also just updated my intro, so let me know what you think of the intro. I'll try to shorten it for you. But let's get to it. made this really quick for you. I've got two 100 watt fixed panels on my doors. They're on my fridge 24 seven. Now coming off these panels, there's a positive and a negative. They don't run through a regulator. The negative all connects together and they're earth to the body. And the positives, both positives run to that charger. Go and have a look. I'm running the Red Arc BCDC 1225D. Um, it's got a built-in solar regulator and a solar input. So I can't show the wires at the back but there's a yellow wire at the back. Um, I've connected both positives from both solar panels to that yellow wire. They're both inputs for this charger, but I've also connected a third positive wire. I'll show you where that runs. So I've run that third positive wire to the back of the car here um, with another earth wire, both plugged into a red Anderson plug here. Now I've got a red Anderson plug. Um, that means I can't plug an accessory into that. It's only a solar input, it only works for solar so that I can't accidentally fry my battery. Um, that's a really good idea to do. So yeah, I've just got the red Anderson plug here. I've been lazy, I probably should put a cover over it like I've showed in other videos, but I haven't got around to that yet. So now I'm able to plug my 300 watt solar panel straight into here when I get to camp and charge whenever I want. This is the back of my kick 300 watt panel. You can see all the wires are connected. They run out of this last panel here, to an Anderson plug here, and down through into this solar regulator. Now, I can't use the solar regulator because my charger already has a regulator and you can't use more than one regulator otherwise the battery gets confused and it won't send charge your battery. You could even cause damage to your battery. So to be able to bypass this easily, kick out some thought of that. This Anderson plug here. You can simply disconnect this and rather than using that to plug to my battery, which comes out of the regulator, this lead here, unplug, and I plug my solar extension from my Anderson plug straight into this black plug here and then I'm feeding straight from those solar panels and I'm bypassing this whole regulator. I've made up my own 10 meter long extension. Um, I was tired of having to park in the sun in summer. You want to be able to park in the shade in a cool and pull your solar panel right out to the sun, wherever the sun is. Um, so I made this 10 meter lead. It's just out of six mil twin core uh, with convoluted tubing over the top with red Anderson plugs on both sides. And then on this end here, the plugs into the solar panel. I've got this kick-ass um, amp meter. So I can tell exactly how many amps are going straight from the solar panel to my car. That's not a bad idea. Not only do I have the kick-ass amp meter that plugs directly on the solar panel, um, I've also got another way of monitoring my batteries. I've got the Victron battery monitor mounted in my car uh, with an app through my phone. So I can always monitor how much voltage is going in or out of my um, battery. So I can monitor each device. I can turn everything off and just have that one device on and see how much power, how many amps that one device is drawing at any time. So I can keep track of my batteries anywhere. Before hooking your multiple positives from your solar panels to your charger, if you want to double check, make sure you've wired everything right, connect all those together, don't connect it to the charger, and get a voltmeter and stick it on the positive and on the negatives, um, and see, make sure it's not over 32 volts. If it's under 32 volts, then the charger can handle that, and you've done it right. Well, that's it, guys. I told you I'd try and keep this one quick for you. If you have any more questions about um, my solar setup or questions on your own setup, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Um, what do you think of the lock here? Do you know much about locks? If you'd like to know a bit more, um, maybe you want me to try and organise a tour through the lock and show you how they work, leave a comment as well. Um, I'm considering doing that in the future if you guys want to see it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!